Hello friends. Today I will be talking to you about recent advances in diabetes. Lot of new things have come up. So let's see. So first of all, I will talk about legacy effect. And this is also known as metabolic memory. Your lipid and all this thing. He's asked you why. Why doctor, I say, if you do not control diabetes, you are three to five times more likely to have heart attack. Heart attack is a common layman language for a coronary artery disease. So I'll say you are three to five times more likely to have heart attack as compared to uh, general population. So he says, fine. And he got convinced, yes, doctor, from tomorrow only, I shall control my sugar or uh, diabetes. Now he asked me a question. If I ask, start controlling my sugar from tomorrow, that will my chances of getting heart attack, CAD, will be as general population from tomorrow only? So you say no. It will not come to normal level immediately. It will take few years for you to come to normal level because remember, Again, repeating second time, it will take few years for for him to come to the level of general population, provided he controls sugar very well. It means body remembers what you have done to, what the patient has done to the body. And this is known as metabolic memory or legacy effect. The carry home message what you have for you is legacy effect is related to Cardiovascular mortality, cardiovascular mortality in diabetes. This is the carry home message for you. That means, right? This was the first update that you should know. Now, second thing role of BP control in diabetes. role of BP control in diabetes. This is always, nowadays it's the hottest topic to discuss in all diabetic conferences. So let's see what is the meaning of this. Let's take an example. I have one patient whose blood sugar, as for sugar is very high and his BP is also very high. And this gentleman goes to a diabetes specialist. The diabetes specialist control his blood sugar. He is not bothered about his blood pressure. Oh, he did not take care much about BP. BP remained high. So his complications came down this much. See for complication. We got another patient whose sugar is high, whose BP is also very high. And this second patient goes to a cardiologist and he control his BP, but he doesn't pay attention to his blood sugar. So now what happened to his complication? His complication come down this much. It's very funny, very surprisingly. A diabetic patient, you control BP, complication come down this much. In diabetic patient, you control sugar, but complication come down this much only. So now the funda is in a diabetic patient. If you only control sugar, now what is the latest update about it? If you control only sugar only, it reduces microvascular complication. 
but if you control BP it reduces macro vascular complication like coronary artery disease peripheral vascular disease and the micro R nephropathy retinopathy and glomerulo glomerulus that is nephropathy nephropathy okay in fact now now let me add, add on to this thing a few decades back there were world famous studies were done the name of study was DCC trial UK PDS trial this is a very frequently asked exam question also viva question both PSM and medicine they are the world famous studies now what are the studies done these studies were done and thousands of patients were studied they took two group of uh, patient one group was well controlled they took two group of people thousands of they divided two category first group was whose sugar was well controlled and second group was uncontrolled sugar those patient whose sugar was not controlled and they studied for years together and after many years of study what they found in those patients, group of patients whose sugar was well controlled or tightly controlled, the chances of going in these patients, microvascular complications were drastically reduced. Both were increased, highly increased, in uncontrolled. But they could not explain why macrovascular complication was not reduced that much. Because in that study, BP was not a taken into consideration. This was not a parameter uh, in the studies. But now in the recent uh, updates, now BP uh, study control has re really reduced the macrovascular complication. So it really explained to you why these studies were not able to explain the re reduce in the macrovascular complication. So friends, the funda is that in a diabetic patient, not only sugar should be controlled, BP should be also controlled. The carry home message is now we come to carry home message. The carry home message is if we control sugar, now you can note down what the carry home message for us. The point to remember is if you only control sugar, reduce micro vascular complication if you reduce sugar if you reduce BP that reduces macro vascular complication this is summary what you have to remember right now extra edge what is the drug of choice suppose there is one patient or diabetes with hypertension what is the drug of choice diabetes with hypertension drug of choice is ACEI this is a second carry home message this is very frequently asked exam question also why what's the reason why you want to go for ACI because ACI not only control the BP but it also slow down the progression of nephropathy okay so it has got dual advantage of controlling BP as well as uh, protecting kidney also. Now few more new things. We got one ARB. There is only one ARB which act also act on the ARB that is angiotensin receptor blocking drug. There is only one ARB which also acts on the P, P, A, 
are gamma receptor all of you know that glitazone glitazone like pioglitazone which is anti diabetic drug act on the ppar gamma receptor and thereby they reduce the sugar now the recently is only the one arb also which not only control the bp but also act via which also act on the ppar gamma receptor and the name of that drug is telmisartan telmisartan is only arb this is not given in any other books also is a recent update is not given in Harrison 19th edition also. In fact, this question came last year, May Ames 2016. But this question was taken from my book of question bank medicine in a sense. That question was taken from that book. Okay. That book contained the question that which of the following ARB act on the PPAR gamma receptor? The answer was Telvisartan in that I have written in 2016 edition. I have written P and Q. Prospective new question, but in 17 edition, now I write is a question came in Ames, May 2016. Okay. So Telvisartan, the third carrier message, the only ARB which act on the on the PPAR gamma receptor is Telvisartan. Now, one more question, one more point, which is again given in my latest medicine essence of 2017, which is the P and Q. We have only one drug which act on the PP, A, R, gamma receptor. That means by this, it reduces, not only reduces sugar, but also reduces lipid. And the new drug, and this drug is available in the Indian market but this name is not given in latest Harrison also. The name of drug is Zero Glitazar. And now I say this is a prospective new question not given in any other book not even not even Harrison 19th edition also. And this question will surely come to you this exam in 2017 exams because and this drug is discussed widely in all the conferences. So friends, there are a lot of new updates also, which will be, I'll be talking to you in the next uh, lecture. At the moment, the four new things what you learned today is that if you reduce sugar, uh, the first fast regarding we learned about legacy effect was the first point. Second point is about control, uh, control role of control sugar, you, microvascular complication go down. If you reduce, reduce BP, macrovascular complication go down. Drug of choice is ACEI, and the only ARB which act on the PPAR gamma receptor is Telmisartan, and we got new drug beyond Harrison. It's not given Harrison also. Siroglitazar it reduces sugar as well as BP because it act on the PPAR alpha and gamma receptors. Okay, this is all for today. And I have already recorded many lectures which you can see in YouTube or in case if you have any problem, you can very well get back to. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you very much.